I think that what they're doing is they're uh, showing uh, the importance of this uh, step. This is the last uh, armed conflict in the whole of the Western Hemisphere. The oldest, the cruelest. Um, the Cold War is really ending on, uh, on Monday when the agreement is signed. You, let's look at the issue of justice. Two former presidents, Uribe and Pastrana, both of them have said you are letting them get away with murder, a, a slap on the hand for a, a virtual amnesty. There is no impunity and uh, uh, we are complying with all the international standards, with the Treaty of Rome. We put the victims for the first time in any armed conflict at the center of the solution, their rights, the rights of the victims. We have more than eight million victims, their rights to the truth, their rights to reparations. We have already repaired more than 600,000 victims. No other country in the world, in any armed conflict, has done what Colombia has had in terms of reparation of victims. Major human rights groups like Human Rights Watch say, say it, isn't, it isn't tough enough. Let's take, for example, the majority of members of FARC, and not just FARC, members of your armed forces, members of other groups. And if people say, yes, I did it, I did this terrible thing, they will basically get to serve some kind of community service in support of the victims. So they're no, getting away with it. No, they're not getting away with it. They have to uh, tell the truth, all the truth. They have to repair, do uh, all kinds of uh, community service, as you call it. And they will be have a effective restriction of their liberties between five to eight years. My instructions to negotiators were, was uh, you go and seek the maximum justice that will allow us peace. And I think we struck a good deal, a good equilibrium. Another of the most controversial aspects, political legitimacy. Someone, it's been called a golden parachute, that FARC members will now get five seats in the Senate, five seats in the lower chamber without having to go through an election. I think that's nothing compared to what uh, peace is going to bring to, to Colombia. We have more than eight million victims. Uh, we have even lost our compassion, which is the, the ability to, to feel some kind of uh, pain for other people's suffering. Uh, we have to recuperate. That will take longer, won't it? That will take that a long time. Go, that won't be achieved just with the signing of a that, deal. That will be Could take, take a generation. A like I was saying, the, the signature of the, of the deal is simply the end of the conflict. Then the hard work starts, reconstructing our, our, our country, our con a country at war for 50 years. It's a country that has destroyed many of its values, many of its principles, many of its uh, social network. We have to reconstruct uh, all of this. We won't be able to do it we, if we don't end the war. You're very convinced of what you have achieved. Yes. Do you have a plan B if the people of Colombia vote no on October the 2nd? We will go back six years and continue the war, the FARC. That's the plan B.